Welcome back to South by Southwest, everybody. Captain Krista Stedman with the Austin Travis County EMS Public Information Office. I am joined today by Clinical Specialist Jeff Gaitan, who is one of our extraordinary members of the special events team. Um, and he's going to talk to us some about our new SRUs and sort of give us a little tour and uh, see all the cool bells and whistles it has. So Jeff, thanks for joining me. Absolutely. So what are we looking at here? So this is actually a Can-Am Defender Pro that we're using as what we call an SRU, a special response unit. Um, this, these vehicles help us get in and out of very high dense um, areas to pick up patients, move them to where an ambulance can get to them a lot easier. These are a lot faster, they can navigate. Um, very populated areas, very traffic heavy areas. Um, so similar to the motorcycles, they're very maneuverable. Similar to the motorcycles, except we can actually put a patient on these. A motorcycle, ideally we'll get to the patient first, administer whatever aid care needs to be administered. This will rendezvous with the motorcycle to move that patient to where they can be put in an ambulance and taken to the hospital if they need to be. Awesome, so give us a little tour. So it's your basic Can-Am, kind of a crew hauler-ish thing. Um, <clears throat> In these particular ones we set up with our MDCs like we have in the ambulance so the uh, dispatch center can see where these machines actually are all the time and dispatch the closest unit. Which is an improvement because previously they didn't have MDCs, Previously right? we had a tracking through CAD but we did not have these portable MDCs. Gotcha. So this makes the communications really happy. Um, your general lights and sirens like an ambulance has. But where these things really shine is back here. There's a company that makes this. It's called a med bed. A med bed. And it attaches to the vehicle. And in the med bed, you can actually put a stretcher in it to where the stretcher comes in and out like an ambulance. And you put a patient on it, load it back in. The provider can sit right here next to the patient. And they can drive to wherever the rendezvous point is with the ambulance. Um, or in South by Southwest case, we come back to our medical tent, the casualty collection point, where we have ambulances waiting, as well as doctors and PAs if, if needed. All of our gear, we carry pretty much the same thing as the ambulance. We've got our primary bag, our medication bag, a pediatric and OB bag, a trauma bag, and our cardiac monitor defibrillator is right there. All special events, we carry our level three ballistics, just in case there's some sort of uh, active attack and we need to go in when police say that it's clear to go in, our medics are protected um, with the highest level of protection and ballistics that they can that we can offer them right now. And now I put one of these vests and one of those helmets on the other day and I almost fell over because they're so heavy. How much do they weigh between the two of them? Between the two of them? I, I, I'd be lying if I was going to give you an exact number, but I would estimate probably close to 28 to 30 pounds. I felt very top heavy. Like if a, if a strong wind blew through, I was going over. Yeah, you, I saw you almost went over. <laughs> cool. What else, what else is cool about this guy? Um, they're four wheel drive capable. So if we need to go onto like a hike and bike trail or into any green space that we need to get access to a patient that may be injured from a fall or whatever may have happened to them. These are very off-road capable. Um, we can drive over curbs. You can, you can drive over all manner of things with these. Um, they will take you most places that you want to go and uh, be able to safely access the patient and get them out so we can get them to the care that they need, either an ambulance, a PA, doc, hospital, whatever it needs to be. Excellent. Cool. Well, it looks like uh, it looks like these guys actually just got a call, so we are going to call that good. Thanks for Absolutely. joining me. Absolutely. Thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you next time.